Hey, Shazam 15 here. Okay, this week's movie was The Change-Up. Now, the basic premise of this is a body swap comedy. We've seen it before, we've seen Freaky Friday. Essentially, the concept is merely an extension of the Training Places storyline as generated by stories such as The Prince, the Pauper, and the Pauper. Now, the thing, the big dynamic change, of course, is, well, it's magical, it's beyond force, and you can't change back immediately. Right. The, basically, what's new with this film? What makes it not the same? Well, for starters, the guys are roughly the same age, so that's different. They've got completely different ways of living, so that's the same. But what they try and infuse that's new is adding in the co adding in ideas of gross out comedy. They basically fused gross out comedy with body swap comedy. Now, I give them points for trying, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't work. You can't combine those two. Maybe I'm just getting too old to enjoy it. I don't know, but it's just. I cringed a lot. It was just awful. I mean, the prosthetics were obviously fake. The that's to do with production values, but still, the fart and actual poo jokes are just oh, 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 just disgusting. Um, just. Yeah, the whole thing was good try, failed completely. But you you've also got the standard bit of what is is it better to be married? Is it better to not be married? Is it a grass is always greener kind of thing? Well, that's the basic point of body swap comedies, which is the grass is always greener. That lesson is learnt. So basically, for the generic body swap comedy parts. Quite beautiful. For the fusion with gross out comedy, disgusting. It's awful. It f completely detracts from all the pluses of the film. It's just a oh, bad idea. It just doesn't work. And once again, I am left with the question that we all ask ourselves whenever we watch body swap things. Although they do actually kind of ask the question. But then the extension of the question, which we always ask ourselves, never gets answered. The question is, if you switch bodies with someone else, and you have sex with someone who's not your partner, is it cheat? Well, it's an interesting question. And to be honest, their logic, you can't fault. The fact that he doesn't carry through that logic, you can't fault. But he loves his wife, so what do you know? But anyway, the fam the irresponsible non family man learnt his lesson, work hard, try and get better things in life because irresponsibility only lasts so long, there's only so long before it gets old. And the family man learnt to appreciate his wife and put her her and his family first. So, you know, that is it. Family-wise, great. Fusion with the um, gross-out comedy, awful. Oh, and it's quite obvious when you watch the film that they've taken out quite a few bits that were in the trailer. Because there is a line... Admittedly, I think it's possibly to do with backlash from feminist groups with a particular line. But the point is, one of the lines in the bar is that he's been keeping company with a number of nice ladies which is Ryan Reynolds character however only one of them ever comes up and he only ever mentions one of them in the bar now there's two reasons for this one is like I said feminists going actually no you can't say that someone likes you have to make the girl cry and it's worth it fact of the matter is I know these people they exist it's horrible but it's true and the other possibility is because we don't actually meet 
that character or any of the other characters that might potentially be in that conversation. We only ever meet one of them, the one that he mentions, Titanium. They might have figured it just detracts from the film, so it might be in the deleted scene to make a bit more sense. So, like I said, they've edited some scenes to make less... The dialogue makes less sense than it could do because they've cut out odd lines. So, editing's not so great. Anyway, a bit like these videos. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, if you're into incredibly gross out comedy, worth watching. If you're a fan of the body swap, it's okay, it's rather generic. But, yeah, enjoy if you like. Personally, I didn't like it. It's quite a bad one. Anyway, TTFN, see you later.